Hi everyone, Dan here for GEIT, and today I'd like to introduce you to an exciting new member of the Mentor UT family, and that is our multiplexer module for the Mentor UT. So the primary purpose of the, the multiplexer is to expand the Mentor from a 32-32, uh, 32 channel, 32 element phased array instrument to a 32 channel, 128 element uh, phased array instrument. Uh, to make that a little bit easier, we have uh, chosen to use the phaser uh, probe connector. So if you have our phaser instrument or a collection of uh, phaser probes, that's what you need to connect to the instrument when the multiplexer is attached. So our traditional phaser connector, quick attach, latches just like it would on a, on a phaser instrument. Um, in this case, I have a 16 element uh, B2S uh, probe. And you can go up, as stated, to a 128 element probe. Here's a 128 element linear array. And goes right on. All you need is the appropriate app uh, to go with your probe, or you can take a generic general purpose app. Just tell it that it's. Uh, a uh, has up to 128 elements physical elements on the probe and you're all set to go so phaser connector for probe attachment other io provided on the on the multiplexer the conventional channel is brought out to these two connectors so the the familiar uh connector pattern with the double lot lemos uh, for our uh, thickness type probes the dual probes uh, you can plug any conventional uh, single element or dual element probe in there with the, the appropriate adapters. Uh, additionally, the I.O. Uh, that would have normally been on the digital I.O. module at the bottom side of the Mentor is provided here. We have the XY encoder interface. We have the Z-axis encoder with uh, remote switch capabilities. Uh, remote power switch capabilities and the alarm outputs. We have added a 9-pin LIMO with uh, some general purpose I.O. That will be used uh, very shortly to support some features like uh, remote start-stop buttons, uh, remote indexing buttons, uh, some degree of remote control um, that you may be familiar with now on our roto array probes. So some additional I.O. provided there. We have the USB port uh, to use with memory stick, uh, mouse, keyboard, uh, what have you, uh, general purpose uh, USB connection. This is an HDMI connection for uh, remote video output. Uh, you can drive a projector or a large monitor with this. Whatever you see on the screen is automatically output here as well. We have an Ethernet uh, connection. So for wired Ethernet capability, this gives you a very reliable and very high speed connection uh, for internet, for things like uh, Inspection Works Connect or downloading uh, firmware updates or downloading apps from our app store, uh, wired ethernet. The wired ethernet also provides a very high performance remote desktop view uh, using the remote desktop feature available in the settings panel and a VNC type viewer software on the PC. Uh, the other connection available back here is the charge connection, identical to the one on the instrument itself, but since the multiplexer covers that, it's brought out up here. Okay. Very exciting feature of this is a hot swap battery. So we have a quick access door here on the end, battery slides out, you see the instrument is still running on the internal battery. Okay. So I can pop a fresh battery in, close the door back up, and I am back to normal operation. Okay. The battery status uh, in the upper right corner will let you know when there's an external battery installed, when there's not what the charge state is, what the total time remaining on the instrument is. Now, the 
batteries used in the multiplexer are the same batteries that came with the external uh, battery pack that shipped with the Mentors originally. So that pack can also be used as a standalone battery charger. So the, the AC adapter for the Mentor plugs into the battery pack and that can be used as a single battery standalone charger or we have a dual battery charger bay that's available as an accessory. The charge bay uses the same AC adapter as the instrument itself, the external battery pack, so you have just the one AC adapter that works with all of these different pieces. You can have one or two batteries in this external charge bay at any given time. So in theory, if you had two of these external batteries, you could have one in the instrument powering the instrument and one charging all the time. And because the instrument also has its own built-in battery to carry it, we can easily pop this battery out, put a freshly charged battery in its place, and run continuously on battery power without ever having to come back and recharge, take down time. So again, the multiplexer provides up to 128 elements uh, support for uh, probes with the traditional phaser connector. We have increased I.O. across the back. The conventional channel does not require a phased array probe to be attached. On the, the Mentor itself, the, without the multiplexer, the conventional channel comes out through the probe connector. Here it's brought out directly on the back of the instrument. External video, Ethernet, USB ports, encoder ports as you're used to, hot swap battery. Now, the multiplexer itself on the housing has uh, tilted base and feet so that the instrument sits nicely on a bench top, tilted back at a good viewing angle, nice for operation. Because the kickstand is no longer required, we have a handle kit available to make this easier to transport. The handle kit comes with the appropriate Allen wrench tool to, tell you, to loosen the screws on the kickstand. Those screws are captive so they won't get lost. Take the kickstand off, put the handle on with the same tool, and you have a convenient carry handle to, uh, to transport the instrument. Uh, the shipping case has been revised so that uh, the standard shipping case coming with new mentors will accommodate a mentor with the multiplexer attached. Okay. Now, the multiplexer does add a little bit of size and weight, so you still always have the option. It's attached with four screws, the screws that would normally hold the, the probe module or the digital module on. These screws can be taken loose, multiplexer taken off the instrument, easily put back on. Just a minute or two to, uh, to take a multiplexer on or off, and you can always operate your mentor as it was originally shipped with a Mentor native probe and a digital module. So this provides the smallest, lightest package. And this provides the most versatile package with the longest runtime. Okay. So that is the new Mentor UT multiplexer for GE Inspection and Technologies. I'm Dan Groninger, and thank you for joining me.